Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we have a new topic for BSc Nursing first year. This topic belongs to the subject Foundation of Nursing. Title of the topic is Level of Disease Prevention. Let's move forward. So before learning about levels of disease prevention, let me introduce you to what is a disease prevention. So prevention is basically anything that you do so that you have less chances of having disease. Here, prevention is any step that an individual takes in order to reduce the chances of having a disease. Prevention includes different activities like modification of lifestyle, early detection of disease, screening for the disease, and also prevention of complications. The main aim of disease prevention is minimize the burden of disease and its related risk factors. Let's move to the levels of disease prevention. There are total four levels of disease prevention, primordial prevention, primary prevention, secondary prevention, and tertiary prevention. First is primary, primordial prevention. This is done at early pathogenesis phase. In primordial prevention, risk factor development is prevented in a population where disease has not occurred yet. So primordial prevention is performed in a population where even the risk factor of disease has not started yet. This can be done by providing education to the people to be safe from that risk factor. Providing education can be done individually, can be done in mass and also can be done by any medium like pasting posters about that disease or giving advertisement through radio about that disease. Basically, this should be done at early pathogenesis phase before the development of risk factor. Example is program about importance of vitamin D in diet. We can organize a program, educational program to community people about importance of vitamin D in diet in order to prevent osteoporosis. So this is all about primordial prevention. Let's move to next. Next is primary prevention. Primary prevention is done at pre-pathogenesis phase. So before the onset of sign and symptoms, pre-pathogenesis. Primary prevention is the prevention of disease before the onset of disease. In primary prevention, risk factor of getting the disease is present, but still we can prevent the disease. Example for primary prevention can be health promotion. Health promotion through educational programs and specific protection through vaccines. So we can promote our health. We can promote uh, any healthy individual also can promote health so that risk of getting the disease can be lessened. And specific protection refers to vaccine. If I have a risk of getting influenza and I take a specific protection, I take a vaccine against influenza, then I can be protected. This is all about primary prevention. Next is secondary prevention. Secondary prevention, as the name says, these are the activities that can decline the progress of disease at its incipient stage and prevent complications. So secondary prevention is done at pathogenesis phase where symptoms have started already. Aim of secondary prevention is early diagnosis of disease and prompt treatment, quick treatment. Example can be mammogram, mammogram for detection of breast cancer. Mammogram is the X-ray of breast. If we perform mammogram at early stage, then breast cancer can be identified at early stage and treatment can be done as quickly as possible. So secondary prevention helps us to do early diagnosis and prompt treatment. Next is tertiary prevention. Tertiary prevention is the final level of prevention that we have today. They are the activities performed to reduce disabilities. Now, sign and symptoms have already occurred. 
what we need to do is reduce disabilities and promote adjustment to the present condition of the patient. This is done at late pathogenesis phase. Symptoms have already occurred and the patient is facing the consequences of symptoms now. So tertiary prevention are the activities that helps to reduce the disability. Tertiary prevention helps to rehabilitate the patient actually and find out optimum ability of the patient. Optimum ability is ability to perform daily activities normally, normally as much as possible. So in tertiary prevention, we basically rehabilitate the patient. Example can be rehabilitation for arthritis, rehabilitation for amputation, and many other diseases. Thank you so much for watching. We will discuss about other topics as well.